The spear of that doom we freed replicating a new combat unit. Optimus you Prime. Can it to a faction now if you wish. Very good. I assume your plan is to bind these robotic warriors to your will. Mm -hmm. They will be allowed their oh, freedom, never mind. much like Phoenix. Making slaves of them is what led to their revolt before. Oh, this foolish yeah, we have a technician coming over next week. Idealism. I need an engineer, dude. They are the replications of our greatest champions. We seek to free your people from the lash. I'm not just and roasting the engineers. Desire to enslave mine? For what is worth, engineers roast me all day, every day, okay? People, I will dethrone Malash and save my kind from oblivion. But they will not be free. They will serve me. Freedom is a delusion granted to the weak by the strong. You speak as Amon does. For the sake of your life, that will change. Instill the Phoenix machine as the new executor of the purifier. New subscriber new detected. Yo, Papa I. Tools of destruction they Thank you. To be. Thank you for gifting five community subs. I appreciate that. Why was Endion chosen as the world Cybros was to orbit? Happy for Friday to you too. Of years, it has been a research retreat. Here, Protoss scholars secluded themselves from political affairs to focus on the task of devising technology that would benefit the Empire. The Psy Matrix was first conceived here. That's hot. When it was decided that the purifiers would be shut down, they became a symbol of achievement, but also the dangers of it. So they were brought to a research colony. Where better yeah, this is an engineer's heaven right here, dude. Resided. They literally made robots. Cybros' stasis field. And how many resided on the world? Is that what literally every engineer does? Hundred thousand Kali. Make robots. A contingent of Templar. I only hope their deaths were swift. We have received new robotic siege technology hierarchy. All right, the long fiery boy, or the hungry caterpillar. <clears throat> only the happy engineers get to make robots. Is that is that like uh, Grandmaster Engineering? Making robots. You got to make your way through uh, Diamond League and Master League and all that, right? You can kind of make your way, like I guess, up to like high platinum, low diamond by going to school and stuff. But then you still gotta, you gotta grind. Makes sense. Makes sense. New Taldarim robotics have been constructed based on Alarak specifications. <laughs> Havoc laser pointers. They do have laser pointers. Okay, so we're gonna go Reaver together with Havoc. I know the Energizer is really good. Yeah, I played them last mission. They're bunnies. Karax, our hierarch has arrived. Has arrived. All right, I think I finally have enough to deploy Phoenix. Yay! We can deploy Phoenix right there from the edge of the Spear of a Dune. Ba -ba 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 -da -ba. Your plan worked, Kerax. The stasis grid is down. We must act now. If we can bring Cybros online, the battle station should begin. I'm gonna to do one itself. more mission. Then I'm gonna and play some more Celeste. They have lain dormant for millennia. They may still harbor anger towards us. If they turn on us, we will have to fight. We failed them before, not understanding what it was we had birthed. These personalities may be replications, but they are alive. After spending so much time with Phoenix, I share your belief. Yeah? <laughs> Took you a while to find out Phoenix is actually real? Cybros will not be able to resist the Zerg for long. We should move quickly if we hope to save the purifiers. I require your honest <laughs> counsel, Phoenix. Do you believe the purifiers will join us? I do not know. They may harbor rage, resentment for the actions of our forebears. The Daylom is not the Conclave. We are united in purpose like never before. And that is why the purifiers must be allowed to choose their fate for themselves. Without freedom, yeah. a people can. Yeah, this is true. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, guys, you're all amazing. I agree. Um, let's go. 
In honor of, wait, the stream, you're gonna go get some Dutch Bros coffee? What does that mean, though? Anyways, I agree. You should go get some. Your Templar are ready, Hierarch. Give the word, and it shall be reclaimed. To Optimus Prime we go. Reactivate Optimus Prime. Very nice. Dutch Bros is legit. It sounds like, uh... Never mind. <laughs> it's okay. You go... I don't want to ruin your coffee. These are truly as tenacious as the Archives claim. Their infestation already spreads across the surface. I'm just gonna go get some Dutch Bros. Just has an interesting ring to it, that's all. We must hope for the aid of the purifiers to win this battle. Indeed. According to the station schematics, Cybros's power architecture is divided into four distinct quadrants. Luckily, you ruined Dutch Bros for me forever. Oh no. Destroying all of That's no shame. That's all good, dude. Should restore its power, activating at least some of the purifiers. Dutch man skipping lines about freedom of previously enslaved robots. Kind of sus. If the Zerg destroy it, Cybros falls as well. Um, I want to make some hungry, hungry caterpillars. We should try to locate the null circuits as soon as it is safe to do so, Hierarch. Hey, some photon cannons over there. Artanis, there are unpowered cannons placed near the core matrix. With enough fortification, this would be a defensible position. A defensible position. Okay, here's one null circuit. There. Quick, shoot mailings at it. Destroy it, and power should begin to flow again. Just a regular mix of Protoss, Terran, and Zerk technology in one beautiful unit. Absolute top tier. Okay, so I gotta, yeah, I gotta protect the purifier core matrix, which is this central structure right over here. That's why I guess there's a couple of photon cannons in that area. Um, we'll once again start off by... Corona boosting out as many probes as possible, and then we'll go from there. There's actually not that many expansions uh, in this campaign so far. Like, there's only one base that I can use most of the time, it seems. Kind of important. Saturate the base. We need more solarite. 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 A Zerg force is preparing to move on the core matrix. Warriors, defend the core. I want to make some caterpillars, man. I guess my uh, my van will probably do just fine. I can park it over here. No, nope, park it over there. No reverse parking on this one. It'll probably do pretty well against Zerkling runbys and all that. Because it's shooting banelings. Uh, this mod is all about trying to make the campaign units a little different than what we are used to. Just, just a tad bit different. Just uh, a little different than what we normally have. Okay, I made a robo bay. We should head out and destroy the I don't know what these do. The purifiers will attack the I guess I can, I can load my reavers into vans and then go from there. Was that the Robo Bay? Aww. It sounds kind of cute. I'm detecting a purifier awakening on its own. Wait, something 
is a mess. The AI has gone rogue. Its Solarite memory lattice has grown irreversibly unstable. It's R2D2? We should disable it. At least we can put its Solarite to use. Dude, fucking Carrix, man. We are reformed. Carrix gets a boner every time you mention the word Solarite. I fucking love it. <laughs> he's, he's really... He loves Solarite, is what I'm getting at. A little too much. Here we go. The hungry, hungry caterpillar. That's the Reaver? Jaber Ito? Is that a Jaberino reference? It must be. I can morph it into a Butterfleaver. A flying heavy assault unit shoots banelings and scarabs at its targets? How do I do that? A Brutling is a small creature that can attack around and the scarab is a boom boom sphere of doom doom. Morphing digests all of the units inside the Jaberito so that they are no longer a concern. So requirements, a reaver devouring growth. What if you could fit an entire race in a worm, Jaberino? The Jaberito attacks by gobbling up an enemy unit and gaining experience. Okay, I'm gonna make more. Oh god, they're so small. Upon reaching level 20, Jaberito can consume the units inside of him and metamorphosize into a butterfleaver. If Jaberito dies after eating units, but before it metamorphosizes, it will release all units back onto the map. <laughs> it is like a Kodo. Yeah, it does sound like a Kodo. It sounds ho like, it honestly sounds pretty bad, but... Anyways. We have another hero unit, I suppose. That's an actual Jaberino quote? Was he high? Oh my god. Okay, this one already ate something. Okay, I want to get one of those metamorphosis things. Fidget spinner, Phoenix! Eat him! Gobble them all up! Okay, this guy's already level 8. Don't die. Okay. It's really hard to judge how strong my army is. Okay, I need some form of anti-air. No, don't die! Don't die! Sacrifice yourself, Vanguard! Oh, I, d <laughs> I don't have a cyber core? Really? Okay, that's not really what I was hoping for. I guess I can get some Vanguards. They have a little turret. I wanted to make some, uh, some, uh... Dragoons, but... That wasn't an option. Okay. Eat him up! This guy's level 10. Okay. If I let- if I kill one of them though... Hold up. I'm gonna- I'm gonna kill this- this one... Okay. It's gonna release all of the other units, and then I should be able to gobble them up, right? Okay, gobble them up, gobble them up! Eat him up! Eat him up! Eat him up! <laughs> oh, he's going back home to his family. How dare he. It was a sacrifice, guys. Okay. Uh, yeah. This guy has to, uh, has to die. We must construct additional solar Okay. 
Beat him up. Oh my god, that was horrible. Okay, <laughs> that didn't really work like that. I could farm them at hatcheries? <laughs> oh, that's a good point. We need to find a hatchery, just park them right next to it. Okay, I don't think we have to really try that hard though. We can kind of just... We can just play. I don't think we have to worry too much. Oh my god. As soon as it gets super hungry, it starts going, right? Okay, my flying zealot is taking care of most of my problems. The hybrid are moving to strike the core matrix. We must tighten its defenses. Are you stuck? Oh no, Step Van is stuck. We need more solarite. Okay. I made a cross shape. Dorime, do 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 Oh, right. I actually never made these guys yet. Laser pointers. Calls up to 10 force... Or casts up to 10 force fields at random points in a large radius around the Havoc. Target lock now increases the unit's size and attack priority, making it easier to target. <laughs> random force fields sound amazing, dude. Love the idea. Great stuff. That's what we need. Okay, this guy's ready. He's morphing into a butterfleaver. I don't know what it means either, man, but he's moving into it. It looks like a Brute Lord. It is a Brute Lord. Okay, so it's got Scarabs as well as Brute Links. Presence is overwhelming in that region. All right. Nothing my boy Carrox can't, uh, or Phoenix no Rotter can't handle, though. Destroying it will help us awaken the purifiers. Oh no! He pulled my van right in the middle of combat. I can't believe it. Sorry. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. That way. Don't distract things. We need more solar light. <laughs> they make him so big. The laser pointer strategy, dude. Great stuff. Okay, this guy's at level 18. Oh, okay, that's how that works. I do have to still cast it. You eat the larva. Oh, you guys can eat the larva. Oh shit, you can make that. Okay, sure you can make the hatchery bigger. Don't die. You're so close. Okay, eat the little brute links. Gobble it all up. Just do whatever you can, dude. It doesn't matter. Oh, it even made the null circuit bigger. Man, I wish I had one of those laser pointers. Oh, 
increasing exponentially. It's working. The purifiers are activating. I am Executor Kolarian. I address the leader of the Firstborn. Executor Klolarian, your deeds are taught to all Templar, even to this day. Seize your What I'd use it on? Why do you seek Don't worry the about purifiers? That. Don't worry about Brothers, that. You were created to protect the Empire. Yet we did not treat you as you deserved. As true Templar. I implore you to forgive our ancestors' mistakes. To take up your ancient hey, look, it's little baby Carixes. And, and Phoenix is out there too? And bunnies. Also bunnies. Bunnies are the true reinforcement we always needed. We will see if you speak truth. You will aid us in purifying this alien threat. Only then shall we discuss this further. Sentinels, advance upon the alien stronghold. Purify the ah, invaders. My butterfleaver is doing a great job. As expected. No, you can't eat your allies. Wait, can you? That'd be something. I don't think I can really micro these guys too much though, because they're uh... They're kind of difficult to, to, like, to control. They're kind of... kind of slow. Best to just go in and... Hope for the <laughs> hope for the best. Oh jeez. Dude, I still don't have enough. Are you guys kidding me? Some of them are close. But... Yeah, these units are amazing, but also kind of tricky to get at. Yeah, they're perpetually in the back, but whenever they get to the front, they die. <laughs> Probably not ideal. We need more solarite. Okay, a couple of the lads are just about ready. It's also because of the dragoons, though. The dragoons are fucking huge, man. Okay, looks like it's just flyers over here. That kind of sucks. Okay. We need more solar light. Get him, caterpillars. Okay. Oh, yikes. Oh, yikes. I'm losing a few of them. I finally got a second one, guys. Not the best execution, I can tell you that much, though. Yeah, I probably need, like, a guardian shield, exactly. Like, to be able to repair them would be amazing. No. Okay, I have a couple more coming up. Yeah, we're gonna have a uh, an army worth of uh, brute lords, though. These are pretty strong, very fast as well. There's a lot of very micro-heavy units in this campaign. I guess it is kind of proto see? It's kind of hard to do everything at once when you're uh, not used to them. I do like them though, dude. They look pretty sick. They're like literally a brute lord with a fucking reaver for a head. 
succeeding. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. <laughs> oh no, the ultras don't care. Okay, one's your laser pointer. Your warriors have engaged the Okay. Oh yikes. Run! Okay, this is progressively getting messier and messier. I could use this base, but I don't think I need to. Nah, we're probably fine. Uh, I do need to make sure I actually complete the bonus objective, too. Uh, I don't really need to make those anymore. Nah. Start them early or don't start them at all, I guess. Good set of force fields. Very useful. Blocking my own units a little. Okay. Um. Ah, we still have a couple. A lot of minerals and stuff out on the map as well, which is quite good. The van's loading ability doesn't seem nearly as useful as like... Fidget spinner R tennis! Or no, wait, Phoenix! Dude, Phoenix fucking legend, dude. Killing those behemoths and stuff, no problemo. Not an issue whatsoever. Look at him. Our home is under assault by alien forces. Move out and eliminate them. Okay. That should be that bonus objective taken care of. Or taken Karak. Wait, no. What you must. Understood, Phoenix. I will see the Solarite is recovered. Taken Karak, thanks. Mm. We need Doesn't really work. We need more solarite. Okay, that way. We need more solarite. Reverse campaign, from what I know, is not completely finished yet, right? So I'd like to play it, but it's not done yet. I hope they start using the uh, Giant Grand Games custom campaign manager. It works really well. I think they're currently doing it in the arcade. Sixteen missions available right now. Okay. The hour is up. We need more solarite. The core matrix is under attack. It must not fall. Oh yikes. Uh, I don't have any fancy abilities available right now. Don't worry, though. My butter flavors are going back. Butter flavors don't mess around, dude. The third quadrant is coming <laughs> online now. <laughs> Quick, buy some time with randomly positioned force fields. Lock them in. All right, there's a group of Karaks and some Phoenixes moving on over in that direction. Eliminate the alien bioforms with extreme prejudice. The pride and the prejudice, right? No. Okay. Aww, little baby sentinels. They're kind of cute. What do the bunnies do? Uh, they're energizers. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a lot of units. <laughs> I was warned about a Zork threat in that area, but I don't think that's a Zork threat. Alright, shoot Banelings at him. Stutter step, Baneling throwing. That's it. Seals are fully unlocked. Cypros is awakening. Yes, bro. Hierarch, Cybros has reached full power, and the purifiers are cleansing the station of the Zerg. 
Fight on, brothers. Slaughter them to the last. Wait. I've been disconnected from Cybros' systems. The core is activating. It's going to fire. Wake up, Optimus Prime. What are you... Commencing purification. Oh, no. A Cybra moment. Yeah. <laughs> That's so stupid. Sorry, bro. Oh no. Optimus Prime. Are you okay? In the beginning, there was the cube. We know not where it came from. <laughs> oh shit, dude. It's like that moment where all the Power Rangers come together. Like, they have some evil threat and they try to fight it one-on-one. -on -one. And then at the end of the freaking uh, episode, every episode, they come together in this big-ass robot. Megazord? Is that its name? No! Wait. Is that from the Heart of the Swarm campaign? Oh shit, I guess not. Never mind. Did it just use a huge fart attack? Did it just shoot so out of its butt? Disappearing. The surface of Endion has been cleansed of I like how it has command centers it for feet. Over. Purification has commenced. Contact the purifiers. New I subscriber. Thank you, Victor. Executor Clolarian, you have awoken during the firstborn's darkest hour. You have shown us that the purifiers are a mighty force that could turn the tide of this war. I ask you now to honor your sacred charge as Templar and fight beside your brethren as you did before. You are no different than the Conclave. Once again, you try to control us. No. I wish to make amends for our past failures. I have fought battles alongside one of you. Phoenix, the one you are linked with. The Conclave feared your kind, but they are no more. I know you are true Templar. I have seen it. I ask that we stand as one, or none of us shall stand at all. I will counsel with the others. They are deliberating. Come on, join us, dude! Ah, man, we should have never given them if their own we will. Fall, Ugh. We would ask the entity Phoenix to speak for us. There is much about this time we do not yet understand. That's okay. But as long as you hold to your word, Hierarch, the purifiers shall join the firstborn. Noise. Got him. I have powered up a new ship subsystem. You can review it in the solar core now. Anyhow, guys, welcome back to the legacy of the meme. We're currently uh, orbiting uh, the beautiful station of, uh, what was it? The Terratron? I'm not exactly sure. Either way, Optimus Prime is lording over us, and I think that's beautiful. We just woke up the purifiers. Alarek is now on board. He wanted our help and he decided to, uh, yeah, stay the night. You know, he's been here for weeks now and we're trying to get rid of him, but... This errand of yours yeah. has been a waste of our time. Right. We should leave for slain. The purifiers will be a useful addition to our forces. I would hardly call this an errand. Yes, but as we already discussed, you chose to give them freedom, hoping that they will do as you command. Do not presume to lecture me about my decisions, Tal New subscriber. Hey, Zaguli. So Thank you. Our exchanges. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Right, Vorazuna lives over here. Rohana. Amon's presence within the Kala grows stronger. He is becoming harder to resist. You risk much for this, Rohana. He believes all suffering, all conflict, results from the Zelnaga's infinite cycle. That it must end. Yes, he has made this clear. But you see only the surface. Underneath, a silent hatred roils within him. A prideful resentment that would see all worlds burn. The hybrid are the true face of Amon. He wishes not only for the Zelnaga's creations to be set aside, but for them to suffer. No, Rohana doesn't want to sever her nerf courts. No. Um, we found out that the nerf courts... Oh, God. <laughs> is that... Is that an SCV? Or, like, what's walking there in the... Is that a is is that a Goliath? What is war? Is that a landed Viking? I'm not sure. Anyways, apparently severing the Nerf Gourds is essentially the same as cutting yourself off willingly of your internet connection. Chat, would you just go out and and, and and sever the connection you have to the internet? That's what I'm saying, dude. That's why she doesn't want to disconnect. I understand. Like, a lot of people are judging her unfairly for this, but... Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do Zealot, Dark Templar, the Vanguard. I don't want to do Vanguard anymore. I'm gonna go back to the Crab Rave. Yeah, I like some more crabs in my army. Uh, what units are we gonna be playing next? All right, I heard that these guys are absolutely amazing. So, for every one of the flyers or every one of the units, we have three different options. We have the Phoenix. They, like, yeet things into the sky. We have the Corsair with their lettuce attack. Right? So, Disruption Web doesn't seem to work. Either that or the animation don't do any. I don't know. Anyways, Mirages. People have told me that these are amazing. So, it doesn't tell me on the screen what they do, but I guess we'll find out in-game. They got them lifts. Yeah, Corsairs. I didn't understand what they meant until I said this out loud. Let us attack. They, they keep saying, you know, let us attack. Let us attack. Anyway, Mirages apparently are amazing, so we're gonna find out. Um, I really like the High Templar and the Archons. So good. I like the Hungry Caterpillar, but kinda hard to pull off in a realistic game. So I'm gonna go back to the long boy. Ba -ba -ba. What's going on, Phoenix? We have achieved an incredible feat, friend Phoenix. Phoenix, I have been thinking more upon that name. It is the moniker of another. I do not believe I should use it any longer. I am not he. Phoenix was the bravest warrior I have ever known. He faced terrible But that's what he's trying to say. He's not Phoenix, bro. Slayed enemies the likes of which most cannot even comprehend. And yet, you have proven to be of Yeah, because he's the same. Oh man. Honored that a warrior such as you bore his name. And so am I. Your words honor me, Hierarch. But one day, I must find my own path and my own name. I have been analyzing the purifier bodies on mass. Nice. Their systems function more effectively when in proximity to each other. Oh, I can bump up the audio a little. Can be How's that? Unoccupied cores. What does any of that mean, Karas? Yeah, speak plainly. The data web was designed to replicate the sense of the Kala. They are connected to each other. Interesting. Yes. However, it is a synthetic representation. There is no emotional wave. The engineers who built them could not imagine how they could ever be seen as Protoss without the light of the Kala. If only our ancestors could see us now. What's going on, Dita Hunter? Welcome. Alrighty, so we have this next layer over here. Matrix Overload. All friendly units gain 25% bonus to movement speed and a 50% bonus to attack speed while positioned within... No. Friendly units become invulnerable for 5 seconds when taking fatal damage, preventing death. This one is 
absolutely ridiculously good. Reconstruction Beam is also awesome. Um, I will go like that, I guess. We can do the Orbital Assimilator, sure. Yeah, the Reconstruction Beam is also really good. Mm -mm -mm, mm -mm -mm. Loco, you should really try to Reaver. He's OP and easy to use. I mean, easy to use if you just kind of let him hang there. They're really good if you uh, micro them individually, though. I'm trying to mostly... Like, basically, the way I've been doing this campaign so far is I've been choosing units based off of whichever ones are the easiest to control so we can, like, play one mission fully with the new unit, you know? Like, for example, right now, I want to focus the next one on Mirages mostly. So all of the other things I've got over here are more like a tech movie, I guess. Like, very... You know... Protal C. <laughs> See, because uh, all army... Of no, 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 that's not fair. All right, let's see. I can go to Ravenscar or Slain. I think Slain is the next one. It brings me great joy that the purifiers have chosen to join the Daylom. Yeah. But there is still the matter yep. of the Taldari. Yeah. Says the Zerg player. You're right. Zerg's a pretty F2A move. It is an armada. Behold the death fleet under Amon's command, poised on laying waste to all life in the sector. Then we had best act swiftly. Rakshir, usurpation by ritual combat cannot be rushed. Its rights demand careful preparations if they are to be accepted. We are in orbit above a hostile world with an imposing fleet, and you speak of preparation? I intend to depose Malash, the ruler of an entire people, and bring them under my thrall. You will aid me, and in return, I will remove the Taldarim from this conflict. That was our bargain. To do this, the ritual must be carried out as tradition demands. This bargain grows less appealing by the moment. Yeah, dude. Alarak, kind of selfish, huh? Can't believe this guy. No, I don't want to talk to everyone again. Don't tell me every. No, I don't want to talk to you, Rohana. I don't want to talk. Okay, fine. Thank you, Susie. Welcome back. Yes, 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 yes. Sorry, sorry. I've already talked to too many people. What's going on, Rahana? Do you have any more uh, spicy, wh whatever, like old school fashioned way of th there are yeah? Things I understand about the Taldarim. Right. What I cannot understand is why Amon would cast aside his loyal allies so easily. Why he would betray? Yeah. I have felt his grand ambitions, Artanis. The dark truth is. Dude, like yeah, exactly. Artanis is not an extrovert. Okay, we're here for action, not for fucking communication with people all the time. I wish to know more about this Rakshir. Okay, let's hear. Your ritual combat. To understand Rakshir, you must first understand the sacred chain of ascension that ultimately links to Amon. Each of us is shackled to his will. Yeah, it's like a pyramid scheme, basically, right? The link above. And yet, there is a way to ascend. By blade and blood. Any Taldarim can usurp the position of the one above his station. It is through this ritual... That's how it works in Twitch chat too, actually, man. To if you want to take, for example, Seldarig's VIP badge, just challenge him. Is the most powerful of your and, uh, we'll set up a fight. So, but he has yet to face me. You can usurp people's moderation rights and everything. Like, the VIPs can... Usurp the right of the moderators, and you know what? If one day suddenly Mugetsu Gabriel is streaming on my channel, you know what happened. The right of Rakshir took place overnight. You can only only people right above you, Kawaii. You're gonna have to take a VIP down first. Then a mod. Then the broadcast. The decrees of old describe. Ready your warriors. Malash will surely attempt to interfere. All right, we get the Void Ray. I think we're going to go Mirage Void Ray in this mission then. Seems good. 
<laughs> These are Malash's guardians. I need you to eliminate them before I proceed. Dude, I have to do everything for this freaking Rite of Rakshir of Alarak. Like, he doesn't even do anything. Like, he genuinely doesn't do anything for the Rite of Rakshir. I don't act cool. Forces will be able to manifest. He's a real Chad. Yeah. They do not possess their full power here, yet they will strike at your base ruthlessly. All right, legacy of the meme continues. I thought you promised an assured victory, Alarak. Well. You enjoy the challenge, do you? Not? <laughs> Very well. Uh, Artanas, weak. Weak. When the terrazine flows, we must endure the onslaught. It starts with non sub, then prime sub, tier one, tier two, tier three, VIP, mod, and then streamer. Yeah, dude. And then above that, we have Twitch staff. And then after that, the guess what? Will rise shortly, my warriors. We have Amazon. <laughs> At the top of the pyramid, the true warlord, Jeffrey. Je Jeffrey. Void rays Sorry. can now be warped in at our stargate. They are ideal for intercepting. Let's go, dude. Mirage. I want to see what the mirages do. Well done, Face Smith. We will make good use. <laughs> Bezos himself, dude. You're try. You're on your way to Bezos. He doesn't even know you exist, bro. You're not even in the same like level of him. Like you can try, but. Let's see. The Avoid Ray. <laughs> this is so stupid. Okay, so Legacy of the Moon meme basically changes all units, right? So we have the Avoid Ray. Has 20% chance to blink in a random direction when receiving damage. This can only happen once every 10 seconds. A beam no longer increases range with charge level, but rather its thickness. Oh, an extra thick beam? Dude, sign me up. Oh, dude, that's a thick beam. That's... What just killed everything? Was that the Mirage or like what? Okay, that seems pretty good. And then the Mirage can now lift buildings but not units. Oh, hold up. Yo, thank you, Ryan. Thank you very much. Wait, the Mirage can lift buildings but not units? Facing armor now creates a hallucinated copy instead of making the Mirage invulnerable. Okay, so I can just add a couple of those into the mix. They probably aren't an army on their own, but, uh... They can still tank some damage, and the Avoid Ray can, uh... Can be quite strong, it seems. Oh my god, dude. They are attacking relentlessly. So I guess they still deal damage. Actually, no, they still deal damage. Okay, no ground units in this mission. I don't know if we're maybe like building up some... Oh wait, I don't need to do that. Uh, I don't know, maybe picking up some resources and stuff. Oh my god, those beams are thick. Woof! So this is the ultimate uh, attack move composition though, because I don't really need to micro these units at all. Whoa. My people will yeah. fight with honor, even when we are fighting for you. But first, we must establish our defenses. <laughs> there it is, dude. Lift up the structures. Yeah. in this region they are carrying shipments of solarite I don't dude think Alarite those beams are so big liberated them oh yikes you guys are heh no that's not what I meant 
Um, I think I'm going to overcharge out some upgrades. That seems like a good idea. I'm going to go ahead and chrono search. Just get everything going. I don't know how many upgrades you can get with one chrono search, but uh, I can get a couple, it seems. Uh, let's try and get that objective going. There we go. Uh, chrono search actually only does like an upgrade and a half. Okay. Kind of hard to see which units are hallucinated, though. But I guess it doesn't really matter with the reconstruction beam and all that. Or the, uh, whatever it's called. There's an expansion on this map. Okay, I'm gonna go back and just build up a bit of an army, I think, next, because uh, I just lost a bunch of my stuff, and I don't think that was really necessary. We approach the void. Ready your warriors. Okay. I need to make sure I have a decent amount of units out, but it's uh Next fog level. Yo, these units are very strong though. I need more avoid race. I don't see the reason why I should avoid them. We need more solarite. No, it wasn't even a pun. Why why would I avoid them? Why would they be called avoid race? Oh, my. 